Hi guys and gals, it's John from AFK Books and Records in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia, and I actually let my hair down for this today. I'm here to show you some amazing Black Friday Record Store Day stuff uh, that started to roll in. We probably got about half of it at this point, so there's a whole bunch that's going to be rolling in next week. So don't panic if you don't see uh, what you're really interested in. We ordered one of absolutely everything for Record Store Day this year, and some things we actually ordered 100. So we're expecting to get 50 or 60 units of some really rare vinyl. So we're super excited about that. So I'm just going to walk you through, just spend a few seconds and show you everything that we've got so far. And we'll do a follow-up video next week to show you the rest of the cool stuff. Um, if you don't know what Black Friday Record Store Day is all about, just visit us at uh, Facebook and click on the event page. And it's got all the details about uh, limit one per customer, when we're going to start selling, all that kind of stuff. Um, can't hold any of this good stuff, can't reserve it. It's a, a you know twice a year thing. Uh, once in April, the big, big one. Uh, this is more mass market stuff, great Christmas gifts uh, that are put out just to help independent record stores like AFK Books and Records. Uh, so we appreciate you guys coming out um, throughout the year, uh, but especially on Black Friday weekend to support independent retail. So without further ado, we're going to get started. Be right back. All right, kicking off the jams with the jam. Uh, three days after completing their first North American tour, Pearl Jam got together in New York to record this amazing MTV Unplugged show. And it really does have some fantastic tracks on it, like Jeremy, Even Flow, Alive, Black, and State of Love and Trust. Uh, this is limited to just 13,000, and you may go, 13,000? That's a ridiculous amount of records. But there are 1,500 participating stores um, in Record Store Day, I think over that now. So when you do that math and do that division, um, it's actually not a lot. Uh, we got a bunch. We're super excited. Hopefully this will hold through the line, and uh, we'll see you then for this. All right, move over, Rover, and let Jimmy take over. Uh, Jimi Hendrix in the house, wearing an amazing Santa outfit and some album artwork on the back here. Uh, there's some really cool Christmas songs that he recorded back in the winter of 1969, and this includes a really rare version of an outtake that he did at, at uh, Electric uh, Ladyland Studios as well. Uh, so this is limited to just 4,500, and um, they're numbered too. You can see the number back here. We got a really nice low number, 238, and we got a bunch of these too. Wait, there's more! Incredible Hendrix, look at this. Purple, Purple Haze. Um, there are a bunch of unofficial releases that also come out on Record Store Day, just normal releases. Uh, so we're going to have a few of these too. This is Super Limited, 51st Anniversary on the B side and Purple Haze on the A side. Show you what that looks like. There's actually going to be a lot of purple going on because reissues of Prince 1999 are also coming out the same day. And we're going to play by the same rules on all of these. So first come, first serve on Record Store Day. But here's uh, the amazing Hendrix sing single. Check this out. The Story of the Ghost by Fish. Look at this amazing record. This is completely remastered. 2LP. It's foil stamped, numbered, and it has an amazing lithograph in it. How cool is that? All right, Mr. John Lee Hooker. Black Night is Falling, live at the Rising Sun Celebrity Club. Amazing recording, and this actually has an extra disc in it that has a 17-minute jam of Rocksteady plus three Rocksteady remixes. Check it out. The King of Boogie in the house. Next up, Government Mule, live at the Capitol Theater, Volume 3. This one is super trippy. It's triple stripe. Not just two stripes, but three stripes of yellow and purple wax. Absolutely amazing. Uh, this also includes a really cool cover of the police's message in a bottle. Hopefully you saw the, these guys at the Pungo Jam Fest. Um, I was there. We were there. Amazing show. If they come back next year, be sure to check them out. Next up, Mr. Alice Cooper. First time on 2LP color vinyl. 180 gram gatefold. Super sweet. And this one's more of a heavy metal record for Alice Cooper. Uh, more like Brutal Planet. Uh, super excited about this. Only 1,500 pressed, y'all. Uh, we're going to have quite a few. Whoa! Paul Westerberg, first time on vinyl with Grandpa Boy, also known as Paul Westerberg. This is his fourth solo album, finally on vinyl. Nice gatefold. Uh, this was his 2002 release. Super excited. If you don't know Paul, you should really know Paul, uh, lead singer and songwriter of The Amazing Replacements. Check it out. Kings of Leon, Day Old Belgian Blues. Only 3,000 of these pressed. This was originally recorded in 2004. Uh, during their tour in Europe, and it's got six tracks on it, including four tracks like The Bucket, Four Kicks, Molly's Chambers. This is a live LP. Emily is super excited about this because yeah. she loves them. She says, yeah. 
Osatriani surfing with the alien. This is a stripped down version. This is a super cool record. Uh, there's one yellow, one uh, red LP in here. And what's really neat is they remastered the original album. So you get a great one to listen to. But they also did a stripped down version, which removes Joe's lead guitar track. So you can actually play along. So it's like karaoke for guitar players. Absolutely amazing. Super cool. Super limited. Come get it. From the warped mind of Primus's Les Claypool comes the Black Friday release of Colonel Les Claypool's Fearless Flying Frog Brigade live at the Great American Music Hall. And what's so cool about this, this is the first time this has been available on 3LP transparent green vinyl. And you may say, well, this is going to be really weird because Primus is really weird. But wait, it gets even weirder, ladies and gentlemen. So set one includes five Claypool originals, bookended by a superb King Crimson and Pink Floyd covers, while set two is comprised of the entirety of Pink Floyd's animals. How absolutely crazy is that? Only 3,000 press worldwide. We're going to have a bunch. Less Claypool. We I want, want more Claypool. Claypool. <laughs> Sid Vicious, literally the last four shows that he ever recorded. Absolutely amazing. Incredible punk rock covers. This is pressed on red, white, and blue vinyl. You've got uh, Search and Destroy from Iggy, of course. I Want to Be Your Dog, uh, Take a Chance, Stepping Stone by the Monkees. How crazy is that cover going to be? Chinese Rock by the Ramones, uh, My Way. Super cool for all punk fans everywhere. Sid lives. <laughs> it's me, Skeletor. Buy this record. It's on silver and bone. It's super rare. <laughs> Something slightly different. Uh, Marshall Tucker Band, live at the Big Easy, 78, 79, kicking it off. Uh, amazing track list on this. We're also going to have this on CD, too. You got Fly Like an Eagle, Fire on the Mountain, Heard It in the Love Song, Desert Skies, Searching for a Rainbow, Can't You See, that we're listening to right now, and Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Awesome. Mr. Lou Reed, his 19th solo album. This is a 3 LP, includes contributions from Laurie Anderson and David Bowie among others. And uh, this is actually a three LP, first time on vinyl ever. It's a concept album covering Edgar Allan Poe. And it also has some tracks from some of his earlier albums as well. Cheap Trick, recorded live at the Fabulous Forum in Los Angeles, California, December 31st, 1979, bringing in the 80s. Uh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't that a shame? We've got Heaven Tonight, Way of the World, I Want You to Want Me, Surrender, The House is Rockin', and Dream Police, among many more, 2LP, Super Rare, limited for Black Friday Record Store Day. Wake up and smell the cat food. It's Don't <laughs> Don't Let Start by They Might Be Giants. Absolutely amazing record. Uh, this is hand-numbered, limited hand-numbered. Look at that, 334 out of 1,000. Also, there's some unreleased stuff with this on the B-side. Where the replacements about, who knew, the replacements, uh, When It Rains It Snows, and the famous Polka. Great song, great album. This is what launched their career. Come grab it. Rare Miles Davis from the Complete in a Silent Way sessions. Uh, so after he dissolved his quintet uh, and before he jumped into Bitches Brew, he did a, In a Silent Way. And here are three amazing uh, tracks from that. Splashdown, Early Minor, and The Ghetto Walk. It includes Herbie Hancock, uh, Joe Chambers, Chick Corea, Wayne Shorter, Dave Holland, Tony Williams, a bunch of great folks on this record. And we've got it for Record Store Day. This. Lizzo's first EP on milky white vinyl with a coconut scented insert. Um, this lady was just nominated for like every Grammy imaginable uh, for her latest record. Uh, this is going to be super rare. Six classic songs, good as hell. Devo, live in 1980, super rare radio promo. Pressed on blue vinyl, only 4,500 press, 16 songs, freedom of choice, whip it, girl you want, secret agent man, blockhead, gates of steel, so many more. Grab it. Sugar Ray, 20th anniversary translucent red vinyl with the hits Every Morning and Someday. Super cool. Shatner, Cramps, Neon Yellow, Garbage Man, What's Not to Love. So, like, every year there's a new Doors release, and I'm like, ah, they're not going to get me this year. And every year they get me. I have so many Doors live albums. Uh, this is an amazing Doors live album. Uh, live 1970 at the Alawite. I can remember it was a huge, like Hendrix was there and the Who were there, and they broke down the barricade. 600,000 people watched this show. Um, track list, here you go. Introduction, Backdoor Man, Break On Through to the Other Side, Ship of Fools, Roadhouse Blues, When the Music's Over, Light My Fire, The End, 2LP, 180 gram vinyl. 
I gotta have it. I don't know about you, but I gotta have it. So the Doors thing, you know, like releasing a new Doors album every Black Friday record store day. Well, Jeff Buckley, same kind of thing. Another amazing recording here. This is recorded live at KCRW's Morning Becomes Eclectic back in 1994, actually just about a week before Grace came out. Absolutely amazing. Includes Mojo Pin, Corpus Christi Carol, Grace, So Real, and Lover, You Should Have Come Over, performed live. Um, so good. So sad. We still miss you, Jeff. We're still going to buy your records because we love you. Elvis Presley, American Sound, 1969 highlights. 50th anniversary of Elvis's legendary Memphis recordings. Historic sessions that spawned the indelible hits, Suspicious Minds, and In the Ghetto. Also, I see many more great Elvis tracks here like Kentucky Rain, Any Day Now, Without Love, From Jack to a King. So cool. Yet again, all the Elvis Black Friday Record Store Day. Sweet, four covers by a very young Hank Williams, including Freight Train Blues, New San Antonio Rose, St. Louis Blues, and Greenback Dalla, pressed on red translucent vinyl. Red vinyl, seven inches. Here we have the Kinks on red vinyl. Uh, 50th anniversary, Arthur and Brainwashed. Pretty cool. This is from the uh, 2019 Mono Masters. This needs no introduction. Sometimes even I can get too high. Who would that be? Mr. Willie Nelson. Yes, right there. And also, it's all going to pot with Mr. Willie Nelson, Mr. Merle Haggard, and Jamie Johnson. Pretty cool. Nice little seven inch there. Acid Witch, Black Christmas Evil. With the tracks Black Christmas and Christmas Evil, you better watch out. Uh, limited to just 750 units on red vinyl. Merry Christmas. Cade Fire, this is a reproduction of their very first single way back when on Merge Records, uh, with the A side being Neighborhood Number One, uh, Tunnels, and the B side being My Buddy. Uh, super cool. This is a very coveted single, so glad to have it back. Art Hammond of The Strokes, a blue uh, vinyl reissue of two tracks that he produced in 2019 for his solo effort. Uh, we've got Fast Times and Mortal Life. This out, The National on cassette, live at the Greek, recorded at the Forum onto cassette by an amazing master cassette recorder. Uh, super cool. It's got a ridiculous amount of all the national songs you know and love. Uh, this is really rare. Only a thousand of these pressed. I mean, do you press a cassette? I don't know. Reeled out? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I uh, love the packaging. Looks like an, like an old stack of blank cassettes, doesn't it? Super cool. I uh, love these old replicas. This is actually cut at 78. Uh, this is a Blind Willie Johnson, Dark Was the Night. Super cool. You can see the old replica of the Columbia label there as well. Nice. Eden, Beauty and the Beat, a psychedelic hip-hop album. NME actually ranked as 392nd of the greatest albums of all time. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Pitchfork gave it an 8.8. .8. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, a lot of fun compared to the Grey album just being absolutely crazy and out there. Check it out. Psychedelia from the late, great Dr. John. Check it out. Uh, first time in print in 40 years. This is a super cool deluxe jacket, and it's on uh, color splatter vinyl, trippy, hallucinogenic stuff. Uh, super awesome. Thank you, Get On Down, for bringing these amazing records back to us. Check it out. Miles in Tokyo. First time in America. And really the first time he pulled together this particular band, which was with him for quite a while. Another great Get On Down reissue. Um, check out the cool Obi strip. Des is very happy. Are you happy, Des? Very happy. She yeah. loves the Obi strips. There it is. Obi. And we love the Miles. Obi. How cool. Obi. Obi, Obi. Obi. Expect the unexpected. Czar face back in the house. The odd czar against us. Absolutely amazing. Limited color variant. Back. Check that out. Love these covers. So cool. Powerball, y'all. Billy Collin and Hector Laveau, an amazing salsa Christmas album pressed on red vinyl. So I kind of unintentionally buried the rarest record of them all, I think. Uh, I ordered 20 and I got one. I heard a lot of record stores ordered this and didn't get any. Um, so one each is probably about all uh, anybody can hope for here. Uh, but this is a 3LP color vinyl, Third Man Records, super rare, Patsy Cline, 1960 to 1963, the complete Decca recordings. 
look at all those songs. It's crazy, no pun intended. Uh, did you know that Crazy was written by Mr. Willie L Nelson? Uh, certainly popular, popularized by Miss Patsy Cline, but super excited about this. I know there are gonna be some folks early in line to get this. Good luck, y'all. New one from The Comet is Coming, called The Afterlife. Uh, this, uh, The Comet is Coming, by the way, is Dana Log on synths, Betamax on drums, and King Shabaka on saxophone. And they follow up their critically acclaimed Trust in the Life Force of the Deep Mystery with this Afterlife EP. Super cool. James Brown, live at home with his bad self, right here. You know a James Brown show is absolutely crazy. Can you imagine what the after show would be like? This will tell you right here. Check out these tracks. Baby, Here I Come, Spin and Wheel, Rehearsal. Hey, that's interesting, just hearing James Brown rehearse. You never hear that. Uh, respect. Can you imagine James Brown doing Respect? I can. Uh, and there's a little chat with him. You gotta have a job. Fatwood, super cool. This is rare, man. This is like never been out, featuring unreleased, extended, and alternate cuts from the wee hours with James. Hey! There's Osborne live at the Ryman. These guys have won so many awards, so many ridiculous CMAs. Uh, two LP, live at the Ryman, Nashville, Tennessee. Awesome. Gatefold. Come get it. Friday. This is so good. Uh, we listened to some of this the other day. John Batiste live at the Village Vanguard in New York City. Absolutely amazing jazz record. Chet Baker, it could happen to you. Chet Baker sings. Check out that great cover. Uh, 180 gram repress, RTI, mono, the definitive Chet Baker album. Do it the hard way, I'm old fashioned, you're driving me crazy. Super cool, nice. It's like a Staunton tip on jacket there, beautiful. I have run out of energy. I have failed you. I've got like 70 more records back there I need to talk about. Um, but I'm gonna go get some dinner because I'm getting hangry. I'm getting mean. So let's talk about this record though. Desperado from I think 1995, 1994. Absolutely amazing Rodriguez movie. Um, I think this is on what, blood and gunpowder vinyl limited to just 2,500 copies. And uh, let me read you some band names here. Los Lobos, Santana, who else do we have here? We've got uh, the Latin Playboys, all kinds of great folks. We have uh, songs performed with Antonio Banderas. How cool is that? Tito and Tarantula, goes on and on and on. So you're gonna want this nice gatefold jacket. You know how pretty these are. So um, I think that's about it for this evening, but I will be back. So keep watching here, uh, RSVP to the Facebook event wall, and we'll keep adding these to that. I may not hit the general public with these, so. You never know, though. You never know. I certainly can't promote them because of stupid Willie Nelson talking about weed. So anyway, have a great night, guys. Uh, see you soon and definitely see you Friday.